at the museum. Do you like museums? Let's visit Seville's archaeological museum and learn about the language of museums. Here are some useful museum words. Gallery A gallery is a room in which exhibits are exhibited. Exhibit An exhibit is an interesting object shown in a public exhibition. Exhibition an exhibition is a collection of historical artefacts shown to the public. Collection A collection is all of a museum's artefacts. Artefact An artefact is a historical object made by man. Antiquity an antiquity is another name for a historical artefact. Relic A relic is a historical object made interesting because of its age or associations with the past. Label A label is a brief description identifying an artefact in an exhibition. Plinth. A plinth is a support on which an artefact is displayed to best effect. Mount. A mount is any metal supporting structure that secures an artefact so that it can be safely displayed. Alcove. An alcove is a small arched recess or niche in the wall of a larger room. Torso. A torso is the part of a sculpture that's lost its head and is usually lacking arms and legs too. Statue. A statue is a stone sculpture representing a human figure or an animal. Head. The heads in the museum have become separated from the statues to which they once belonged. Bust. A bust is a sculpture of the head, shoulders and upper chest of a person. Mosaic. A mosaic is a picture made from small pieces of coloured stone or glass. They normally formed part of the floor of a building. Column. A column is a vertical stone cylinder that originally supported the roof of a building. Capital. A capital is the elaborately decorated top of a column. Let's have a look at a few of the many exhibits on display in Seville's Archaeological Museum. Archaeological refers to things that have been found buried in the ground and revealed by archaeologists during an archaeological dig. Seville and its surroundings are a rich source of historical artefacts from prehistoric times to Roman times and later. The earliest items in the museum date from prehistory. Prehistoric bones, pottery, carved figures and even jewellery give us a tantalising glimpse of the lives of our distant ancestors. Whose skull was this, and what was this person's name? Skull. What do these strange owl-like figures represent? Owl. Who adorned themselves with the necklaces made from these ancient shells? Whose fingerprints can still be seen around the rim of this clay pot? Who hid this hoard of coins? Did they forget where they'd buried it? Or did they meet some grisly end? 
poured. We don't know much about the people who left these artefacts behind, but we do know one thing for certain. People had to eat. Pots make up a lot of the artefacts that archaeologists find during their excavations. Pots range from the very simple to those with the most elaborate of designs. This ancient cooking pan looks very much like a pan we have at home for cooking paella. And just how valuable metal pans were can be seen from the way this copper pot has been carefully repaired using a metal plate and eight hammered rivets. Today we would simply throw the pot away and buy a new one. The Romans made elaborate glassware, such as these three glass bottles. The antiquity of this hand-blown glass can clearly be seen. And Roman houses were lit by small oil lamps like these. Made of clay, they still show evidence of the burning wicks that would have sat in the tips of the lamps. And then, just as now, gold was of great value and importance. These crudely fashioned gold crosses are inset with pearls and other precious stones. But there are artefacts that show us more about how these ancient people looked and behaved. This figure, for instance, gives us a clear picture of a woman's elaborate hairstyle. Not only from the front, but how it was plaited behind, too. A museum gives us a peek into the past and makes us realise that, apart from the technology, we're essentially the same as those who came before us.